Um, hello everyone, Namaste. This is Manali Shivaridi from Bangalore. My mom vacated her body on June 13th of this year and that made me very uh, weak emotionally. And um, we completed all the rituals. Uh, after completing the 11th day ritual, my sister started seeing my mom in her meditation. And she called us and she told like, you know, uh, that she saw mom in her meditation and we didn't believe it in the beginning. And we were like thinking like, how is it possible? It's not, because we are not used to it, right? So we didn't believe it. And like again and again, she started saying like when she was meditating, she was able to see other experiences also. Like when she was in higher worlds, she was with other people like my grandmom and uh, aunt and all who who also uh, had left their bodies and she was telling all that stuff and that that was like again uh, surprising and we of course didn't believe it my sister is one who doesn't share something like this because she doesn't talk things unwantedly so that made me uh, think about it and then I started browsing and then I um, went on YouTube and searched for videos is it really possible that you know people can see their beloved ones after vacating their bodies and uh, I just landed on PMC Telugu and that's how I saw so many videos about all this stuff and because there are too many people who were experiencing uh, things like this and I was like okay I was really shocked and surprised because I really didn't know about all this and and I called my sister and I told yeah you are not the only one there are too many people like this who are experiencing things literally that made me to start meditating every day and I just took it as a challenge okay let me also do it for 40 days because uh, they say something like mm, I heard it from somebody that if we do it for 40 days continuously then there are like you know we can see changes and uh, changes um, so that's how I started okay let me also do it for 40 days and then if something goes like if I'm able to see my mom then that's fine because I really I very badly wanted to see my mom like how my sister was seeing so then I started it okay let me just do it and then I did it and started doing it and yeah of course I, I didn't see my mom but I just like after completing a week or something I felt bad because I didn't see anything in my meditation and I I was like uh, okay maybe I started you know talking to myself yeah I, I was upset with myself because I'm I'm a very uh, you know I'm a big waste person that's why I'm not experiencing anything maybe other other people are very great I mean those souls are very great so that's why they're all experiencing uh, all such things and I was talking like this um, and then I just got an inner voice you know like it just came out like that it was the inner voice was like that was in Patrice's voice it was saying it will take you to the heaven tonight I was like when I when I heard that it was like seriously I was like surprised Surprise and I was happy just like uh, when I literally just after listening to it I was like oh my god I just I just like I just said that and I was I was quite happy because because something happened right because yeah of course I, I started this to see my mom but I just got something because I have uh, you know listened to many people's experiences so when I experienced it really I really felt very very happy and again I started doing it okay something is there in it so I should continue it and then I continued it and again again started like you know we people are so crazy we just want things to happen just like that so I again a week got over and again same frustration nothing happened I didn't see anything so again this time I just interacted with the universe and I started yeah you don't want me right you don't then why did you create me other souls like other people are experiencing so many things they are seeing they're seeing so many other things like why am I not able to see my mom I just started like this I was I was upset and it was just like a fight you know and rather than an interaction it was just like a fight if you were not you know why did you create me like that and I started you know uh, did all this and after that maybe I just did it in the afternoon yeah I, yes I believe I did it in the afternoon and then that day night I before going to sleep I just do my meditation and then uh, go to uh, sleep and then I just did it when I was doing my meditation that night I just got visuals it was like so beautiful just like a movie I just got visuals so beautiful and I uh, let me share that also what I saw and uh, there it was like I just entered a big hall um, a very big hall and people were sitting um, even I saw Patrice there and um, 
and I was standing, I was wearing a long gown and I just entered uh, the hall with my family. There I saw a husband, a son and a daughter. We all entered that hall and then mm, I saw those people. When I entered the hall, everybody, they just got up and uh, they were like clapping. They just started clapping and I was like, I could see tears in their eyes. I mean, that is uh, joy, like pure, pure love with us towards me. And when they started clapping, that made me so emotional. And then I was very happy and I had tears in my um, eyes. And I was very happy that moment. Even I had so much love for them, uh, like just like uh, how they had towards me. And when I when I saw Patricia sitting there, I just went and uh, touched his feet because um, with, with so much love, I went and touched his feet and when I touched his feet and he just put his hand on my head and then just, you know, blessing, a kind of um, blessing. So he just <laughs> did like that and I was happy and then I came back to my place where I was standing earlier. And then uh, I just um, saw like, you know, uh, above and there, Lord Shiva and other Devit, Devagan and Devitas, they all were standing and showering flowers on me. I was, I was, I was emotional. I'm actually an emotional person basically. So when I saw all these visuals, it made me so emotional and I literally started crying. Like I had tears in my eyes and I saw and I was like, I was so happy and just I just did you know um, namaskar like this and uh, and I literally when I saw his eyes Lord Shiva's when I uh, saw his eyes so much love towards me there was pure love I was so happy seeing that I I really can't express how it is but that feeling was so I um, mean it just gave, it just gave me goosebumps you know even if I think of that but that was so beautiful and after that I had some seeds uh, in my hand when I saw that and I just went to the balcony there was a balcony next to that hall I just went there and then I just sprinkled it you know and when I did that those seeds became like golden uh, seeds it just turned out to be uh, like like golden seeds and it started spar sparkling you know and then I was like wondering what is happening and then when it went down and when it touched earth it became so bright everything became so bright the nature became bright everything it was so bright like you know when you see um, uh, sun like I don't know like how to say that but it was so bright and glittering it was very beautiful and I was like okay let me go down and see what it is like what is happening and and when I went down I went down and ran and uh, went that said to see what is happening and when I was running and mother earth and mother nature they just came out like that they just came towards me just like that they just they just came up and they just started coming towards me. I couldn't stop myself. I just went, I just ran and just hugged them, both of them. And they were so, I mean, again, same thing. They had so much love for me. And even I was so happy seeing both of them. When I hugged both of them, I just saw up, like, you know, I just started thinking of my mom. Because of my mom, I started meditation and because of her, I started seeing these visuals. So I just, I just told, you know, um, mom, just because of you, I'm experiencing all this. I mean, I just, I just started thinking of my mom and I, I was able to see my mom there. She was smiling. Oh God. <laughs> yeah, that was, So when I saw my mom there, that was really very um, beautiful. I really felt very, very happy. She was literally smiling and uh, she was happy. And even I was happy um, seeing all that and seeing my mom in that place. And I really like, yeah, I thanked my mom also just because of you all this mom like that. And after that, I just got one more visual like, um, 
I mean, yeah, that, that again, uh, like I just got down from a car and then uh, two girls came out running towards me and they were like asking me, why are you so late? So many people, I mean, people are waiting for you. Why are you late? Come, come, let's go like that. And I was also like, okay, let's go, let's go. And I just went with them. And after seeing all these visuals, I really felt uh, bad because uh, the interaction that I made uh, with the universe that didn't uh, give me um, happiness because it's not. I felt it's not right uh, to talking to universe like that. And I said sorry because I'm really sorry because I I didn't want to talk uh, like that. And I said, uh, I will never ever speak like this again. Whenever it is required, you just show me whatever is needed for me. Because um, I understood because I was frustrated. And that's why like, you know, when I, uh, when I did all that conversations, it may, it showed me something. The result of that conversation is these uh, visuals. So I understood that and I was like, okay, I should not do this again because it's not, this is not fair, I felt. Because it, I didn't, I really didn't like it, talking to universe like that. And I said, sorry, I will never ever speak like this. Whenever is needed, whatever is needed, you just show me. I mean, I will never force you like this, like that, I said. And then, yeah, that was so beautiful, those visuals like yeah literally I really can't forget that I still like when I think of that it just again comes like a movie you know I I can't forget that again and after that um, yeah this is what happened uh, and again yeah I want to share one more thing when I started on Ju July 7th yeah July 7th morning 7 10 I still remember the day and day when I started my meditation so July 7 I started and from then I didn't stop and I will never stop it also so I continued it when I continued and one day I again got one uh, voice, a beautiful voice. It was so beautiful. It was so calm. It was very like, I just heard hello like that. That is so beautiful. I really can't, you know, express how that feeling is so awesome. But it was so mm, uh, sweet and uh, mesmerizing voice. It was a lady voice. It was just saying hello like that. It was so sweet and uh, with so much love it was. So I got that and I, f I felt very happy. Basically, I'm uh, non-vegetarian. I used to love eating non-veg. Uh, but when my mom is not well, I was like, I did so much. I did too many pujas. I used to chant Lalita Sahasranamam. Um, Mahamrutyanjaya Mantram and many other mantras and I, we all visited temples and all and we uh, contacted astrologers because we wanted my mom uh, to be all fine so yeah everybody wishes like that right and like it, it's quite common in a family so we did so much for one single life that made me realize like, okay, my mom is, of course, my mom is important. And I just started thinking about other animals because as I was a non-vegetarian, how can I kill those animals? Because they're also like us, right? They, they also have families, they have life. More than I think they have life. How can we kill them? That made me think of like, I started thinking about, thinking about all this and I really didn't feel good about it and I told my mom, see mom, like for you I'm doing so much, then then I don't have right to uh, no, kill animals and eating them, right? We are, Whatever we are doing is not right. My mom is like, yeah, let's stop eating it. And that's how, that day onward I just stopped it. Think about it, you all think about it because we all have a family. If somebody is not fine, if we lose someone in our family, how it's a... It's a complete void, right? We'll not get them back again. And we'll be just having those memories, beautiful memories with them. Like, just like how we have life, animals, birds, all other, like, animal kingdom also has life. I guess we also should, like, every one of us should stop eating non veg. That's how, like, that made me, my mom's health made me take this decision also. But when I got into this meditation, I got so much clarity about all this, you know. 
uh, animal life, animal kingdom, plant kingdom, another like everything. I got much clarity about life. When I saw Patriso's video, Life After Their Death, that made me so happy because I it's not required for me to feel sad anymore because whoever vacates their body, they all will be happy in the higher worlds. It's not required for us to feel bad anymore. And when I when I came to know that, I was like, okay, nice. And somehow my sister was also, uh, she was able to see my mom in her meditation. So that made me uh, so strong. And when I was, I was feeling low. Uh, and but when I came to know about all this, that made me so strong, and I'm I'm not sad anymore. I, yeah, I miss my mom, and it, it's okay. Like physically, she's not with me, but but I know there's no death. She has just left her body, physical body, but she is the soul. So she is there somewhere in the higher world. So why should I feel sad for it? It's not required for anyone to feel sad. So I, that made me really, really so strong and meditation uh, taught me so many things. It taught me how to live, how to lead life so beautifully. We should enjoy each and every moment, no matter what, what is happening in your life. You have come here on a purpose. So we all are here for that sake, but meditation helps in realizing all this. We have taken this birth uh, to do meditation, but other than meditation, we are doing everything else. You know, everything else, main part we have left it and other things we are doing it. So, but I got a clarity after all uh, this. What I want to tell you all is, please meditate, 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 and believe in this process, trust me, because I was also like you people who, uh, like, who is not believing in all this, but when I experienced things, then it didn't, it, like, you know, I also started believing it, that's why you please meditate, experience it, then you will come to know what it is, and meditation is so powerful, so, I guess more than food, water or whatever it is, meditation is really, really important. You just meditate and leave other things. If you leave other things also, it's fine. What I feel is that. So yeah, this is what I wanted to share. Yeah, thank you. Thank, thank you for watching this. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.